I slammed home, uh, I wrote it about being a teenager and growing up and it's really near and dear to me. So my little brother came home today with the brightest smile on his face. Angeli, Angeli, Angeli. He hollered as his tiny little index finger pointed at a piece of paper with five golden star stickers on it. I got five stars today because my teacher said I wrote the alphabet perfectly. Although I was proud of the little kid, I felt this emptiness creeping up inside of me. I felt this sense of envy and I couldn't find the right words to escape from my lips in order to express the emotions I felt staring at that paper. Remember when we were a child and our worth was defined by how many Golden Star stickers we were given? When I was a child, I wore this denim dress over a pair of jeans that no one laughed at me for. The only thing I worried about was running as fast as I could to jump on a swing before another kid could steal it away from me. My mom told me I was the most beautiful thing she had ever laid eyes on. My dad told me I was the intellectual child of his. How their eyes would gleam when they praised their eldest child. When time got the best of me and I came of age, I guess it was true that the life I lived before was spent playing with dolls, but I now wake up every single day trying to look like one. High school didn't consist of gleaming golden star stickers. High school was coming into realization that you are not good enough. High school was disappointment in my parents' eyes. Everyone became, by the, defined, everyone became defined by their test scores. Everyone became just another product of a failed creation. Everyone filled with opinions, confusion, resentment. I guess you could say we're all just heaving through corrupted lungs at this point. I wanted freedom, but I had a little too much fun. I wanted happiness, but I found chaos. I wanted to become better, but my feet has failed me. I was given a voice to begin with, yet silence became a luxury. I craved an enduring love, yet I lost it. The little girl who dashed towards those swings chasing her dreams also became the girl who's running away from it all. I want to run away from all of this, from the murmur in the halls, from the empty hearts, from the human bodies that were supposed to be a work of art. We are the generation that advocates the change, yet as individuals, change wasn't even in our veins. Building a life on drugs, constructing lives so that you can mask your state of instability. Nothing, I'm just tired, everyone says. Nothing, I'm perfectly fine. I'm, I'll get over it, everyone says. You're not over it if you're laying in bed at night with your eyes wide open, asking yourself, what the hell is wrong with you? You're not perfectly fine if you find yourself revisiting old memories that trigger the blood from the thousand wounds. It's not nothing if you find your world collapsing right in front of your eyes. But you see, the money will never be enough, the love will never be enough, the trust will never be enough, the drugs will never be enough. There is one thing that is. The one thing we all seem to disregard all the time because our minds are clouded by the darkness. It's hope. The last thing is hope. The hope that one day you'll wake up and you won't miss the boy that swore to never break your heart. The hope that one day you'll forget all of those scars people left on your beautiful body. The hope that one day the light in your parents' eyes will return again, and so will yours. That one day you've finally found the rainbow at the end of that tragic storm. One day. And I hope for that one day.